How do we know that the current warming trend is not caused by natural cycles? Detecting human influence on climate is complicated by the fact that there are many natural variations in temperature, precipitation, and other climate variables. These natural variations are caused by many different processes that can occur across a wide range of timescales. From a particularly warm summer or snowy winter, to changes over many millions of years. Among the most well-known short-term climate fluctuations are El Nino and La Nina, which are periods of natural warming and cooling in the tropical Pacific Ocean. Strong El Nino and La Nina are associated with significant year-to-year -year changes in temperature and rainfall patterns across many parts of the planet, including the United States. These events have been linked as causes of some extreme conditions, such as flooding in some regions and severe drought in other areas. Globally, temperatures tend to be higher during El Nino periods, such as 1998, and lower during La Nina periods, such as 2008. But it is clear that these natural variations are notably smaller than the 20th century warming trend. Major eruptions like that of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 expel massive amounts of particles into the stratosphere that cool the Earth. However, surface temperatures typically rebound in two to five years as the particles settle out of the atmosphere. The short-term cooling effects of large volcanic eruptions can be seen in the 20th century temperature record as can the global temperature variations associated with strong El Nino and La Nina events. But an overall warming trend is evident. Natural climate variations can also be forced by slow orbital changes, affecting how solar energy impacts the Earth climate system, as is the case with the Ice Age cycles. For the past 800,000 years, these longer-term natural cycles between ice ages and warm periods saw carbon dioxide fluctuating between around 180 parts per million at the coldest points, up to about 300 parts per million at the warmest point. Today, with carbon dioxide concentrations rising above 390 parts per million, we are overriding the natural cycle and forcing Earth's climate system into a warmer state. Attributing climate change to human activities relies on the combined assessment from observations, as well as information from climate models, to help test scientific understanding. Scientists have used these models to simulate what would have happened if humans had not modified Earth's climate during the 20th century. In other words, how global temperatures would have evolved if only natural factors were influencing the climate system such as volcanoes, the sun, or ocean cycles. These undisturbed Earth simulations predict that in the absence of human activities, there would have been negligible warming, or even a slight cooling over the 20th century. When human greenhouse gas emissions and other activities are included in the models, the resulting surface temperatures more closely resemble the observed changes in temperature. Based on a rigorous assessment of available temperature records, climate forcing estimates, and sources of natural climate variability, scientists have concluded that there is more than a 90% chance that most of the observed global warming trend over the past 50 to 60 years can be attributed to emissions from the burning of fossil fuels and other human activities. Understanding the causes of climate change provides valuable information to help us manage our future to find smarter, more economical, and better ways to produce the food, energy, and technologies we need to live and thrive.